What you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at the auto run virus or auto run worm and uh, we're going to be looking at how to protect ourselves from it and how to remove it from the system. Now this is the most commonest thing uh, in the malware world. It travels through USB flash drives, the internet uh, network. Once you've got it on your drive or on your system it will jump across other computers and other USB drives that you plug into your machine which means it's highly spreadable uh, with people plugging flash drives in and out of each other's computers so how are we going to stop ourselves from getting infected well I'll show you how to do that in this video it's pretty straightforward stuff really but let's get started anyway so first off what we're going to do is have a look at this system here and uh, I've got myself a system that's infected with um, an auto run .inf uh, worm and you can see I've got my flash drive plugged in and uh, as you can see there's a folder in here with my movie in it and that is it that as far as I can see that's okay there's nothing wrong with it now you may have uh, access denied when you try to access your drive you may have all other types of symptoms that these auto runs cause okay they stop you from accessing your C drive uh, sometimes they lay dormant and they do other stuff who knows what they do but it's pretty nasty stuff so looking at this drive you'd think it's safe and then I unplug it and go and plug it into my friend's drive who's on a network and it will infect his system and also spread across his network okay so let's have a look at showing hidden files and folders to see if that actually lets us see it and as you can see it's still hidden and that's a common thing people don't know they've got it and they just go around infecting their friends and they don't even know they're doing it so what you need to do really is show your operating system files so I'm going to take the tick out of hide extensions and also uh, unhide the operating system protected files since we do that we should see the auto run.inf and also there is a file there which is uh, the actual virus itself so these are the two files that we want to get rid of the system now don't confuse autorun.inf with every single file that you've got on your system you will have these on the system a lot of uh, CDs and, and programs do use autorun uh, so because you've got it doesn't mean you're infected okay it just means uh, that this type of infection that I've got on here this one I know it's definitely a virus because I can see this file here and there's no such thing as a USB driver.exe file with a Internet Explorer icon okay but there is different variants of this okay okay so now we know we've got it on there we can see it's also on our desktop another place they like to hide is in your C root directory and if you look inside your C root directory you will see again it's jumped into there okay and it's normally sometimes you'll see them inside the windows directory as well and I can see an auto run.inf there and uh, there will probably be another file inside here you sometimes get DLL files um, in the temp folder you'll normally get uh, these types of infections okay you go into your temp folder and you'll probably see these are related uh, to this infection but there will be other types okay that may be hidden here this is this makes it very difficult to detect and find them okay so let's have a look at also Internet Explorer because it's related to Internet Explorer it's possible that it's going to be inside Internet Explorer as well and there you go it's there ie connections exe and that's the infection as well so it's related to that okay so let's uh, remove this from the system so how can we stop these getting on the system well first off as I said you can use a uh, Bitdefender's uh, USB anemonizer and what that's going to do is anemonize anything that you plug into your system uh, ie flash drives um, USB drives and stuff like that and that will stop you from getting infected because it will block it okay it will let you see the files but it will block it from running which will then allow the virus to jump on your system it's also important that you have an antivirus running there's no antivirus on here 
So it's very important that you do have a, an antivirus, even one of those free ones. It doesn't really matter what one it is. This is not about what the best antivirus is. Any antivirus will do better than none at all, okay? So that's a real uh, big thing. And don't allow people just to walk in and plug in USB drives into your computer because if they're infected and you haven't got none of this stuff to protect you, you're going to get infected and then you're going to infect every other computer in your household. So just bear that in mind. There's other companies that do these types of things like uh, Panda, USB vaccination. Uh, they will vaccinate uh, any USB drive that goes on the system and uh, stop that from auto running and infecting. Okay. You can also disable the auto run. You can either do it in group policy or you can just uh, use these uh, fix it tools if you've got Windows 7 and uh, run those. Okay, uh, Windows XP also it runs for and also Server 2008 Vista and stuff like that. You just enable or disable. You can see here enable or disable and that will stop that from uh, running. Okay, it will block it. I prefer the program myself, but if you wish to do it this way, you can do. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, our options. Also, running malware bytes regularly on a regular basis, I, I prefer to have the pro version running with a, a, a free antivirus program. But if you've got the pro version, you'll get protected a lot more better uh, in real time. Um, but if you don't want to get the pro version, and uh, get the actual free version just make sure you run that on a regular basis and keep yourself clean okay hitman pro is another tool you can use this up to 30 days run that and uh, that should stop a lot of these getting on your system okay now if these don't detect it uh, and they can't remove it what's going to happen is you're going to have to do it manually and the reason why these might not detect it is because it may be a new variant and it's not in their database yet it's very unlikely but um, it's possible that could happen. Okay, now you may not be able to just delete these. Um, you can use uh, bat files, command prompt, uh, a live CD, booting into a live CD and just delete them that way because they will no, now not be running and you'll be able to delete them, okay? Registry keys, uh, these will allow you to delete, uh, disable the auto run as well. And also we've got some bat files, as I said here, that will actually um, runners cleaning tools as you can see here what this is going to do is just telling it to change directory to the C root directory and it's also going to run through this attrib command and uh, show files and also it will uh, show the auto run.inf file and then delete the auto run.inf file okay this is not going to clean it all up completely it's just going to delete this one file and I'll show you how that works basically well, let's look at the C root directory here. We can see there's an auto run dot in file in there, which is related to this. And I'll run this and I'll just show you what it looks like. If you didn't want to do it um, inside the actual command prompt, you could run this like so. And it will go through like so. And it will delete the auto runs. OK, now if we have a look again at our C root directory, you'll find that it's now gone. And you should be able to uh, delete this file like so. And as I said, you can also use uh, Malwarebytes and stuff like that to do these jobs for you. And let's run Malwarebytes now and just have a little look and see what happens. And I'm pretty sure this will uh, detect it and remove it, okay? Now we've also removed that um, auto run .in file on the pen drive there that's renewed that another thing that you can do while this is uh, scanning is which is another little trick you can do is to get yourself a notepad why well, that's I'll leave this scanning behind get yourself notepad leave it blank and then what you can do is save this file like so to auto run dot inf file like so and if I save that on the, my desktop here because I've got one on my desktop when I save that on my desktop it's going to want to overwrite that file and I'm going to say yep yeah. and I've overwritten that with a blank file and that's now 
that's now gone and we should be able to delete that file and because it's not running you can now delete it like so and you can do that same technique um, you can do that same technique I'll just do this again Made a bit of an ash of that but there we go so blank file auto run .inf, and that's there and what I can do now is copy this and uh, paste this into my recovery drive which I want to do and it'll say do you want to copy and replace that there's a uh, that size there you can see it's 30.5 I'm going to say copy and replace like so click OK and then we're going to show the results and as you can see it's found those uh, viruses there and you can see it's found it inside the Windows directory and it did find stuff in the temp folder like I said it was those two files there and you've also found on the desktop the USB drive so it has detected those and also the one that we picked up on inside the uh, Internet Explorer area there it's also found that okay and we've also got something else here so what we'll do is we'll let that run and clean that I'm going to restart in a second oh, so let's reboot the system just delete this one here and I'll just quickly restart Okay, let this load in and we should be pretty much good to go okay so that's now booted up okay so let's have a quick look at our flash drive if we look at our flash drive that's now clean there's no uh, infection in there auto run will be there and you can see it's changed back to its usual big self there and uh, that's all now cleaned up and uh, everything else is now cleaned up so all we need to do next is change your settings back like so to hide everything and you could run other scans which I would advise you to do uh, ESET online scanner which is free or Bitdefender's uh, tool or you can also run Hitman Pro and stuff like that to finish off uh, anything okay and that will be about it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk these videos help you out hit that subscribe button guys also rate and favorite all my videos and, uh, and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.